Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike here, and we're just checking out the ETH USDT pair on Binance. Now, this is the four hour, and we're using Market Spy Armageddon. Yeah. So, yeah, this software is uh, it's pretty interesting. I mean, there's there's a lot going on with it. To be honest with you, I've kind of disabled most of the things just because, like, as you can see, it's already kind of, you know, taking up most of the screen. But, uh, yeah, there's, like, a lot more even to this. And, yeah, it's, it's a little bit a little bit too much for me. But, um, yeah, for those that uh, are interested in lots of technical indicators this this software is pretty cool so yeah this this is the four hour these green dots right here are supposed to be buy signals similar to market cipher if you guys have ever heard of that one this is kind of like i don't know competitor of sorts so yeah these these green dots are supposedly buy signals right so see how well they're working here this green dot would have got you an entry at 16.30, right? Now these red diamonds, these are called blood diamonds, and this flag is 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 a, a take is called take profit flag, if I recall correctly. But basically, this is a, an indicator that you should be selling, and the and the blood diamonds are are also bearish. So, yeah, I mean if especially if you saw this one here this one happened just before this last blood diamond and that was the the local top it's right there i mean it's, it's and that would have been 17 so there was there was a little bit of profit there there was what from 16 to 17 right so not too much though really not not that much of a swing but still profitable here's the other one on the four hour and then boom there's your take profit you got a little bit got a little bit of a margin there from what 14 8 to 16. so yeah let's go back a little let's check check out what else is going on here green dots seem to be the easier the easier one to use but there's there's a lot of indicators here that you can use and and the best way to use this is to to use more indicators and the more indicators you use right the more of confirmation you have but none of these are guarantees right doesn't matter how many green dots or whatever you see uh, there's no guarantee that you're gonna make that it's actually gonna go up for you um, but yeah this one too profitable right so three for three on the four hour so um yeah this one again another another profitable move take profit was pretty much dead on boom and then yeah there's blood diamond with the x is is very bearish with the pyramid boom uh, yeah so let's check out some other time frames so this right here is is pretty pretty nice little feature where it just gives you everything lined up here some of the more important uh, technicals to look out for the uh, moving averages are all lined up here you got your stochastic your MACD your DMI and uh, a few other things here so when they all line up green that's like the absolute best case scenario um, yeah and as you can see it's kind of like 50 50 um, Let's see here. Let's check out another one. Let's check out the daily. Let's see how bearish the daily is. And it just keeps getting more and more bearish. That's pretty bearish. So you can see. 
so yeah this this software is definitely telling us that we should not be buying at least on this time frame green dot let's see ah, that was profitable this one was not this one was not and then this one it had another one and that one definitely was not that one you had gotten slaughtered on let's check out the weekly real quick now the weekly is giving us a green and it was profitable if you had bought right there actually gone up significantly on the weekly right so that was that was a great a great call there uh, and the last one you can see was in December tw uh, 2019 so I mean it go goes to show you how, how few and far between these green dots actually do show up um, yeah they don't they don't show up very often That last one look at that 100 bucks yeah so um yeah i mean even though we're i think for the long term it's still you know it, it's not it's not bad right to get in at this uh what are we at 1570 but I think that we will have some, I, 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 I don't see this being the bottom. I think that we still have some more pain to go. And I think that uh, a thousand is still very much in the cards. But I think that even below that, you know, 700, 600, I mean, it's, it, we're, markets are, are are really getting hurt by the fed and, and the raising of the interest rates and i mean unless we have a collapse in inflation where i mean the markets just collapse and inflation just collapses the fed is going to keep raising rates they might slow up a little bit but it's not going to be enough and this market i believe is is still going much further lower so yeah that's it for now guys let me know if you want me to check out any other cryptocurrencies i'll do my best to try to do it uh and yeah and that's it and take care